getting closer to the stupid babies. Was that your idea for a funny intro? No. <laughs> <laughs>
because yeah. that, that was madness. That was madness, and I yeah. It's so obviously it's it's a comedy. And there's some stuff in it that I re really really liked, uh, but obviously some of it I just didn't understand as well, which yeah. makes sense, you know. Yeah, it's a different language, and <laughs> yeah. there's a lot going on there. There was a lot, yeah. And right at the beginning, I mean, I'll give it this much: it's definitely different. Yeah. I just I had a f my gut is telling me. There's not a lot of substance to what's going on in the actual movie. That'll be one of those things that you'll watch it and go, you'll force yourself to laugh because you don't want to not have a good time. Uh -huh. That's my, that's, you know, again, we don't judge a movie by its trailer. I'm just telling you my initial impression is that I would want to hear from stupid babies that is worth seeing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, there's more I, I would need to see. And I don't need it to really have substance. I just need to no, be funny. funny. No. Yeah. Yeah. If so, it's just stupid funny, we're fine. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> And it knows what it is, like, uh, it, uh, yeah, I just can't tell from the trailer. Yeah, it did, the, I mean, maybe that's what it was going for, because it looked like madness. There was action, there was slapstick comedy, there yeah. was, like, some drama, there was huge Bollywood numbers. Yes. Yeah. So there's just a ton in it, but, I mean, my, my, if that's what it's going for, it's yeah. going for a madness aspect. Right. I mean, it, it delivered on the yeah. release of trailer. Yeah, my, my hope is it would be like Deli Belly with a hundredfold slapstick comedy. Yeah. If it goes that route, I'd probably really enjoy it. The synopsis is... A tourist group from India sets out on a vacation to only have their trip to turn into a patriotic mission. Are they spies? Will it end well for them? They're a tourist group on a vacation and their trip turns into a patriotic mission. Huh. So it's like friends from like Hangover, but they turn out to need to do some patriotic mission at the end instead of... Yeah, I guess it's like, yeah. Back to a, uh, imagine the Hangover. A wedding, not a wedding setting, but... No, like, imagine uh, the Hangover and they find themselves caught in the middle of some espionage thing where they have to protect the country. Huh. But I didn't get that from the trailer. No, no, I didn't get that they had to do something like that. Not at all. But I mean, it has a ton of action. <laughs> it felt like the three, you know, the three Stooges. There's never really anything in there that's worth anything of a story or yeah. character arcs. You're just watching to watch them be stupid. Uh, and that's what this looks like. It may just be a movie you go to watch everybody be stupid and ridiculous. Anil Kapoor. But yeah, I got some yeah, heavyweights we, in there. Yeah, we got some names. Yeah, that we definitely recognized. Yep. Uh, who was that bigger guy? What was uh? What was he? That big guy was John Abraham. No, he is big though. A big dude. He is massive. Big dude. <laughs> tall and he, massive. Tall and eats a lot of steak. Yeah, that's a big dude. Uh, no, the, the bigger the guy with the beard. You know what I was talking about? Oh yeah, we've seen him in several things. Yeah, I just couldn't place my finger on it, and I can't find him in IMDb. I can see the comments already. Yeah, he's a legend. We've talked to you about this before. You've seen him in yeah, only you've 12, seen him in only 12 films. films. You actually <laughs> talked about how well you know him. We interviewed him. We interviewed him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, him. Yeah, I remember that guy. After, after. Anyway. <laughs> so it's just, it's one of those things. I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to have to uh, defer to you stupid babies. 100%. To, uh, if you're going to see this, you're going to have to let me know uh, if it's really, really good, really worth seeing. Uh, November 22nd. Uh, so that's Thanksgiving. I, and I wonder if this would even get released here. It's usually the Bollywood ones always get released here. They, well, almost. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't get Log Capitan. Which exactly. Was a big really disappointment. Really strange. Really me. strange to me, too. Like, I mean, unless it just got butchered. Maybe. With the reviews. Maybe. I mean, if the distributor said, forget it, no one's going to go see it, it's already getting butchered, it's got a Rotten Tomatoes score of 23... You know, and I haven't looked, so I'll see I'm I'll so disappointed. I'll, see, I'll that. see anything above 24. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'd see anything that's it, that's got Saif Ali Khan in it. I want to yeah. watch his work. Yeah. You know, I really would. And that the trailer for it, it looked really interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know if this would get a release, but this is where we would 100% defer to you guys. Directed by say his name or her name, his name, Anis Bosmi. Bosmi. I don't think we've seen it. I don't know. Stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever recognized that he, name. He wrote it. Uh, and then the other people we don't know. And then it has Kriti, which I th sounds familiar, but... No, it's not, we know a Kriti, a a Kriti, but it's not her, yeah. Okay, well, let us know yep. uh, what we missed out. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. Yeah, should we see uh, this movie or should and, we have already uh, taken costs? What, uh, what does our John Abraham stuff? Should we... 
Yeah, we really need to see a one of him as well because well, we saw seven seven, come up. Yeah, but that wasn't. We need something where he's the lead. It's his film, where he's carrying the film, and and it needs to be like, if somebody were to say to me, okay, I've seen, and there's been a lot of Sylvester Stallone films. What did you see? The majority of them, I would tell you, don't don't see the majority of Sly's films. There's a handful of his you should see, and these are the ones. Rocky, skip five. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever watch Rocky Five. Stallone himself will tell you, don't watch Rocky <laughs> just, Five. Just watch the Rocky series. Skip yeah. five. Exactly. Go to the Rocky Balboas. Yeah, exactly. Creeds. And watch First Blood. <laughs> the first First Blood is actually a really good film. I've never seen it. It's very good. It, it's And he, he has his best moment as an actor he, in that film. He reminds me of a, of a Sylvester Stallone type. Very much. Uh, he's huge, obviously. Yeah. He's massive. Yeah. But, uh, but Carrie, but doesn't really have... Much of a, you know, Sly knows his weaknesses. He's, Granted, I, from what I saw him in Seven Kum Off, I'd say he's actually he, a better actor. He, he'd be Sly. a better, he'd be a better actor. Sly knows where he is. He says he's got one lane to drive down, mm -hmm. and that's all he's got. Yeah. And he, he never would try to go out of that lane because audiences would completely. He tried it in the movie Fist. Mm -hmm. He tried to go outside of his lane and to be a serious drama actor who's kind of stretching, and it tanked. Oh really? It's awful. I didn't see that. One. It's bad. It's bad. Sly, Sly knows he can act, but he knows his he knows his wheelhouse, and that's what I'd love. This I want to know what is the the best like movie to watch. It's like if you're gonna watch his films, yeah, this is where you start. Well, let us know. Let us 